days in the desert. The caravan grows weak. My body is ravaged with fever. But I cannot give up. I will not give up. be upon him. I turn to the evening sky and rejoice at the sight of the new moon. We must now reach Mecca in eight days when the Hajj will begin. As we depart Medina, I open the gift from my mother. Two lengths of pure white cloth. And I'm reminded of their meaning. We are all equal. Our voices ring out over every hill and through every valley until we reach the gates of Mecca. Eighteen months ago, I bade farewell to my family. The three thousand miles required of me became five thousand. Now, I am but steps away from what I have dreamt of, what I have prayed towards all my life. The Holy Kaaba. Yeah. Is the ancient black stone, foundation stone laid by the prophet Abraham. Astronomers have observed the circling of the planets in the night sky. We mirror the movement of the heavens circling the Kaaba seven times. We move in harmony, as if traveling back to the beginning of time. I feel myself becoming one with those around me, with those who have come before, and all who will follow. <laughs> Oh, 
Before Abraham built the Kaaba, Mecca was a barren desert. After the trials he and his family endured here, the desert was transformed into a place of remembrance. We remember the trials of Abraham's wife, Hagar, by performing the running. For many days, Hagar was alone in the desert with her infant son. She began a desperate search for water, praying constantly while running between two small hills. We ran the same path as Hagar to honor her faith and determination. Her prayers were answered with a miracle. The appearance of a spring we call the Zamzam well. Today we gratefully drink the same life-giving water that saved her child. Pilgrims have come here in caravans from many faraway lands. Yet, clan and race no longer divide. Rich and poor prepare side by side for the day of Arafat. John, a great procession. Like a river, it flows toward the plain of Arafat and the Mount of Mercy. It was on the Mount of Mercy where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, delivered his final sermon. He called on us all to remember the virtues of Abraham, charity, friendship, and forgiveness. After sunset, we walk to a place called Muzdalifa, where we gather the small stones we will need tomorrow. A pillar marks the place where the devil appeared to Abraham, urging him to disobey God's command. Abraham resisted the devil by stoning him. We cast stones to remind ourselves that we too can overcome temptation.
church. For his faith, Abraham was rewarded with the gift of a lamb, which he sacrificed in gratitude. Remembering the charity of my friend who guided me through the desert, I buy a flock of lambs and offer them to the poor. To celebrate a new beginning, I cut off my hair. Soon I will make my final circles of the Kaaba and say farewell. is complete. My heart is full. The tests of my journey have humbled me and opened my eyes. The caravans are leaving Mecca. Those traveling west would take me home. But these words have remained with me. Go in search of knowledge. Even if it takes you to China. Ibn Battuta's search for knowledge took him to China, India, and more than 40 other countries. He would not return home to Morocco for almost 30 years, having traveled three times further than Marco Polo. His legacy is one of the greatest journals of travel ever recorded. Today, a crater on the moon is named in his honor.